John Stewart made some fascinating comments about political correctness in a podcast here with David Axelrod. Let's listen. It's not okay to have nostalgia for the madmen society and think that that, is, that that ignorance is virtue. And they have twisted this around so that his ignorant pronouncements are somehow uh, a sign of great character. It's like where I grew up when people go like, hey, look, no disrespect. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not saying your mother's a whore. I'm saying, and you're like, I think that's what you're saying. The difference is he would and, just say your mother's a whore. Right. But when he says, you know, people are so nervous. See, here, here's what's so amazing about this. So the whole idea of political correctness is everybody's so sensitive. Just get over it. You know, why should uh, African Americans be so sensitive about police shootings? Why, why do they have to be so sensitive about uh, uh, years of systemic racism creating economic disparity? Come on. I'm not a slave owner. Donald Trump couldn't handle us making a joke about him. Vanity Fair, Graydon Carter did a joke about Donald Trump's hands 25 years ago. He's still not fucking over it. And his hands so, aren't any bigger. So Muslims, not true, by the way. <laughs> he actually did Finger a deal, extensions. Trump International. And if you see them now, they say Trump and go left. <laughs> Bill. Um, but the, the idea being that Muslims, hey man, he does all he's saying is they're evil and shouldn't be allowed in this country. He's just telling it like it is. But God forbid you say happy holidays in December. It's fucking war. <laughs> so who is it who's exactly sensitive here? That's 100% accurate. So oftentimes I think it's true that the left is too politically correct. So let me give you some examples of that. On college campuses, we have these things called trigger warnings, where it's like, oh, you know, you got to let people know before you're going to say something. It's going to be slightly offensive or else, you know, you're a bad person if you don't warn them in advance. Okay, that's kind of babyish, and I do think that's too politically correct. We have stuff called uh, safe spaces, where, oh, it's a place where don't worry, you're not going to be challenged, and you're not going to feel like an outsider. Well, then the whole point of college just went away. You're supposed to be challenged. It's supposed to, you're supposed to battle ideas there. And I think that that's stupid too. And it is, this is coming from the left. And then you also have uh, microaggressions, the idea that, you know, little comments um, basically make people super uncomfortable and people draw conclusions about you and call you a bigot or a bad person because you said something that... Uh, could kind of maybe be interpreted in a way where you're saying something offensive. Like, for example, the one that always gets me is if you say, uh, America is a melting pot, you're like a bad person or you're a bigot. Why? Well, because then you're kind of secretly saying that people don't have a right to their own culture and they have to be more like you, and that's presupposing that you're right and they're wrong and that's so bigoted. Like, okay, look, man, uh, you know... These things are debatable. To try to pretend like they're not debatable is just stupid. A meritocracy is another one. You, if you say America is a meritocracy in, on some college campuses, they say, well, there you go. That's, you know, that's a microaggression. You can't say that. Now, again, I actually don't think America is a meritocracy, and I have long arguments as to why that is. But to say that if somebody else thinks it is, that we can't have that discussion or that debate... I mean, just stop it. Stop it. So that is political correctness, and that is coming from the left. But nobody calls out the political correctness on the right, and there are countless examples of it. So he gave a perfect example right there, the war on Christmas bullshit. Every single year, Fox News does a campaign built on political correctness. That's PC outrage. Oh my God, you said happy holidays. I'm so offended. Why don't you say Merry Christmas? Uh, then another example of right-wing PC outrage. Larry Wilmore at the White House Correspondents' Dinner made a joke uh, using the N-word with uh, Obama. Where at the end of it, jokingly and lovingly, he said, You did it, my nigga. And then all the right-wing <laughs> in the blogosphere, they lost their shit. Oh my god, I'm so outraged and offended that you used that word. How dare you? So well, I thought you guys were against political correctness. No, but that is political correctness. You're the ones who are policing jokes now. You're the ones who are policing words. 
you're guilty of what you accuse others of being guilty of. How do you not see that? And nobody talks about it. I, we're the only ones that have spoken about it, and apparently now Jon Stewart's onto it. And then also, just to give more examples here, the right waged a, a campaign to get people to stop saying climate science denier. Why? Because they go, well, you know, denier is offensive, and it gets me upset, because when you say denier, it sounds too much like Holocaust denier, and that's not a very respectful way to refer to me when talking about climate change. Why are you being a little PC bitch, a whiny bitch? Why don't you own up to it? Yeah, yeah, I deny climate change. I am a climate change denier. No, they go, eh, you used the wrong word. Let me police your words. That's PC outrage. Stop pretending it isn't. It is. All right, more. Uh, Trump, the guy who's hailed, as, as John Stewart points out, this, like, king fighting against political correctness. Dude, he literally skipped a debate because Megyn Kelly hurt his feelings. That's as big as it gets doing PC outrage. How whiny and how insecure are you? She said the wrong things to me, so now I'm going to skip the debates because I'm so offended and outraged that my feelings are hurt. You are a little PC bitch. Ironically, as people think you're the king fighting against political correctness. That is political correctness. John Stewart's right. It, it, that's a literal true story. There's a guy who made a joke about Trump's small hands years ago, and the entire time he's never fucking gotten over it. He's never gotten over it. In the debates, it's hilarious, too, watching him like a child. I've never heard my hands are small before. That's crazy, because somebody else pointed out in the debate, it's small hands. He's like, I've never heard that before. That's crazy. No, you did hear it, and you're super insecure about it, and you've been upset ever since. You haven't gotten over it. So perhaps you're the one that needs to get over shit. And, you know... Just to give one more example, I can go on and on, but there's another thing now coming from the right. We just covered the story the other day. They say any criticism of Israel is anti-Semitic. Well, that, that is PC outrage also. You're changing the debate. That's not true at all. You know, and on the left, you could say, hey, they do something similar sometimes where they, they say, okay, um, criticism of Islam is bigotry against all Muslims. That's not true either. So that's left-wing PC outrage. Right-wing PC outrage, as we've seen, Ayelet Shaked, a right-wing politician in Israel, if you criticize Israel at all, you're anti-Semitic. That's PC outrage too, because that's not true, and you change the debate. So we're at this point now where there is left-wing PC outrage, but there's also right-wing PC outrage, and very few people talk about the right-wing PC outrage. And then the cherry on top, which is the final trick that many people on the right do, is... They now say that whenever you fact check them, they'll say, why are you being so politically correct? They, so they want to make false, inaccurate statements and then uh, hide behind the guise of, I'm just being politically incorrect. I'm keeping it real, but I'm being politically incorrect. And if you disagree, you're being politically correct. When in reality, the response is, no, no, no. We are being correct. You are being incorrect. So for example, Trump with his wall. When people call out his wall proposal and they say, look, putting aside whether it's good or bad, it can't, it's not going to happen. You're not going to make Mexico pay for it. The former president, the current president, officials throughout Mexico have said, we're not going to pay for it. So it's not going to happen. Get over it. And Trump's, anytime anybody tells that to me, oh, well, you're being politically correct. Look at this, political correctness. Ann Coulter pulls this trick all the time. Whenever you correct her on some fallacious shit that she says that's not true, ah, uh, you're being politically correct. We're not being politically correct at all. We're just being correct. We're just telling you they're not going to pay for the fucking wall. You can want as much as you want. It's not going to happen unless you invade them. Do you want to invade them? And then they tap to answer on that question. Why are you being so politically correct? No, we're being correct, not politically correct. So now, anytime you fact check anything the right says, they accuse you of being politically correct. No, I'm just being correct. I'm just being accurate. When I say single payer healthcare is factually the best healthcare system in the world, a fact borne out by many studies, they go, why are you being politically correct? Anything you fact check them on now. Hey, uh, you know, the economy is better under Obama than it was under Bush. We still have problems, but uh, you have unemployment that's been cut in half. The market's doubled in size. The list goes on and on. Why are you being politically correct? Why are you being politically correct? Well, you said that the economy is better under Bush. And I'm saying it's not. Well, that you're being politically correct. No, I'm being correct. I'm fact checking your punk ass. But that's where we're at today. And Donald Trump is the best example of that. He can say anything. They literally say about uh, our 
military. We're fighting too many politically correct wars. And then they go on to say, as Trump has, we need to torture, quote, even if it doesn't work. We need to bring back things worse than waterboarding. Um, we need The Geneva Conventions is the problem. We need to uh, attack the families of ISIS in the Middle East. So not ISIS, the families, civilians. So they say all those things, and when you say that's a bad idea, they're politically correct. No, I don't want the United States to officially be a terrorist nation that openly commits war crimes, says we commit war crimes, and say that that's the point. We want to kill civilians, we want to torture, we want to ignore the Geneva Conventions, and this is now official policy and doctrine. For me to say that, I'm just being correct. Not politically correct, I'm being correct. I'm making us abide by the same standards every other nation needs to abide by. And if you disagree with that, you are stupid. You are an idiot. You are a moron. That ain't political correctness. In fact, if you disagree with what I'm saying, you're the one being politically correct.